Hooke's Law. To understand Hooke's Law, we must first understand what elastic and plastic deformation are. Deformation means to change the shape or size of the body. The force which makes the body deform is called the deforming force. When the body is deformed temporarily, such as, in the case of loading with a load W, which after removing, the spring comes back to its original shape and size. This deformation in which the body regains its shape and size after removing the load is called elastic deformation. When the body is loaded with a load, W, there will be a resisting force that develops inside a body. When we remove the load, this resisting force makes the body regains its original shape and size. On the other hand, plastic deformation is the deformation of a body that permanently changes the shape of the body. When an applied force is very high, and a body cannot handle it, in this case, the body goes under permanent deformation. Generally, all the objects show both, elastic and plastic deformations. For example, when we load a spring with a certain load, first it will show elastic deformation up to some limit. But if we go on adding more load, the spring will break and deform permanently. In this case, the elastic limit of a wire depends on the nature of a material and the diameter of the spring. As we understood, what is elastic and plastic deformations, now we can see what Hooke's law says. Before moving on, I would like to introduce you to an amazing learning platform called Ikeda. Ikeda is your one-stop solution for academic, gate preparation and assured job placements. Ikeda is an e-learning platform to boost your exam preparations and upskill yourself with academic, gate, professional and career track programs. You can enroll in Ikeda online courses and utilize the following benefits. Learn from top educators, 50,000 plus recorded and live lectures, one subscription, unlimited access, real-time interaction with educators for live lectures, 3,000 plus test series, 2,000 plus study notes, and watch video lectures anytime, anywhere. Use discount coupon code ADTW10 to get a 10% discount on all Ikeda online courses. The link for Ikeda platform is provided in the description down below. Register now. In 1660, an English physicist called Robert Hooke stated this law, which states, for elastic deformation in spring, the deforming force is directly proportional to the change in length. Consider this spring, whose one end is fixed and has a length L, the other end is loaded with load, W. We can see that the spring undergoes deformation, and its length increases. Let's call this increase in length, delta, L. The Hooke's law states that, the load W hanging on the spring, or the deforming force applied on the spring due to load W, is directly proportional to the change in length of the spring. That means, if the deforming force changes, then the length of the elongation of the spring also changes proportionally. In other words, the deforming force is equal to some constant times change in length of the spring. Therefore, we can write the deforming force F is equal to K times delta L. This is how mathematically Hooke's law is denoted. One important thing to note here is, this Hooke's law is only valid within the elastic limit of the body, where the body regains its original form after removing the deforming force. This law is not only valid for springs but, is valid for elastic deformation in any material. But, there is an assumption that states this law is only valid when the forces and deformations are relatively small. The modified version of Hooke's law states, stress is directly proportional to strain, within elastic limits. That means, when stress increases, the strain also increases with some proportions. If we remove the stress, the spring regains its original size. This behavior is up to a certain point, which is within this elastic region. Here, the constant of proportionality is, E, where, E is called Young's modulus, or simply modulus of elasticity. This equation can be rearranged as, E equal to, stress divided by strain. The value of E is different for different materials, which is calculated as, the ratio of stress applied on a body to the strain undergone by the body. The unit of Young's modulus is the same as stress, that is Newton per mm square, or Newton per meter square depending on the unit used for calculating area.
I hope you have understood Hook's Law. If you want to learn more from my channel, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you continue getting high quality videos. It takes a lot of effort to create these kinds of videos. If you want me to make more such videos, you can help my work by contributing to my channel. Your small contributions will help ADTW learn to continue providing you with great videos.